Hello, I'm Maria Trujillo and I'm coming to you from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown University School of Continuing Study. In focus today, Microsoft's digital transformation. I'm joined today by Nina Somerville, Microsoft's General Manager for the Northeast Cloud Solutions. Welcome, Nina. Welcome, thank you. Thanks for having me. Microsoft has made a huge culture shift under the new leadership in the last five years. What does digital transformation mean to Microsoft? Yeah, it's, um, it's funny. I would tell you that five years ago as we started to talk about digital transformation, I thought, uh, and a lot of people did, it's more the latest buzzword of what we're going to call IT and that it's really no different. Um, I think most important is that we've really seen it is truly a fourth revolution. It is truly people changing how they operate. And, uh, and under Satya's leadership and, and the new organization, we've really shifted uh, how we engage with our customers and how we uh, engage our employees. And so it is, it has been a major change for us. I think, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it more today, but I think that there's four key things. It's engaging with the customers, helping them empower their employees, helping them transform their operations, and, um, and overall making that culture shift um, in how they do that. Weren't you doing that before? Yeah, I'd say I'd say that, um, and it's probably not just a Microsoft statement, but um, but a lot of IT companies, you knew the products we had, you mm -hmm. knew us as a product company, and we probably showed up to demonstrate and to explain to you our products while we learned about your business. And the real shift for us is that first, it's what is the customer trying to do? Um, what are they trying? How are they trying to empower their employees to act? The product is the piece that fits in the back. The solution is the part that comes after that. And so we've really made a shift to putting the customer at the center of how we think, and then that solution and that product set comes after. So you mentioned culture as part of this transformation. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Yeah, I'd say, you know, it's we've always talked about it. So ju just like you said, haven't we always mm -hmm. done that? We've always talked about culture, and at, at Microsoft we have a absolutely strong culture um, from philanthropic events and how we treat each other as employees. But I would say from a culture shift, it's that putting the customer at the center. It's that um, e even as we in the field who talk to customers engage back to our engineering groups, uh, it used to be a product feature that maybe needed to be fixed, and now it is what is that customer outcome? What is the customer trying to get done, and what's maybe that technical or business blocker that we need to help them fix? And so it, it is really us living it. I, I would say as we transformed, it's not just talking about culture, but we've done a lot of training uh, the company on what we mean by growth mindset, what we mean by culture, um, and then living it versus metricing it. So um, I think it, it's really valuing, e even in what I would say our performance reviews and how we, we, we've done gone away from performance reviews and really talked about impact from an employee. And part of that impact is how we engage with others and collaborate with others, not just did you do your day job. So you said metricing, you're not mm -hmm. measuring it anymore? No, we absolutely are, and I, and I think it's really key, and, and, and I know we'll, we'll probably talk about diversity and inclusion, and you have to have the metrics to know how you're doing. Right. So, so how are we doing is the metric. I would say that we've really changed from instead of living by the metric, the metric doesn't tell you a success or failure. The metric tells you the trends and then indicates what things you need to do, and then how do you train your folks um, and how to and how to take those actions. So diversity and inclusion is a perfect example. We could say we needed a more diverse population. We could say we need to act in a more inclusive way, um, but we've done more training on the why it's important rather than just the metric telling us we're doing a poor job. So of all the leadership positions in Microsoft, 20% mm -hmm. are filled with women. Does this feel like a victory or is, this, uh, is there a way to go? Yeah, no, I think, I think it's, a, it's an indication of our improvement. Um, and I think we do stop and celebrate that improvement and see what we're, we're getting from that, that data. Um, but there's still a way to go. I think at, overall our goal is to make ourselves look like our customers. Uh, when we show up, do we look like the diverse set of customers that we're also serving? Mm -hmm. um, and again, back to, to living it, does that, um, does that diversity and inclusion on a team and with our customer, do, do you see and do we, do we demonstrate and celebrate the success that that brings rather than just great, we have more women on this team. That's a metric, that's great to know. Um, but what did that diverse team of age, of ethnicity, of gender, of background and history, what did that group and how did they achieve more by being a diverse group? How does that tie to digital transformation? It does, yeah, and, and I think the, the key is, is that the companies as they transform, um, 
it, there's, we're so, every company is a data company now. Or we might have said that's an IT company and this is a school or this is a, um, you know, a retail customer. Mm -hmm. They're all a data company and so it's how do you leverage the data you have to serve your customer and so they have to look at themselves as an internal team and then they have to really focus on their customer to see how they serve that customer and that's that culture shift. It looks different for every company a bit, uh, but it's a core part of the success as they transform. I, I think the key is you're not just going to upgrade your systems, you really have to think how you're going to operate in a different way. Excellent. Well, thank you, Naina. Oh, you bet. And thanks to everyone out there watching. Stay tuned for more from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown SES.